in order to understand responsive web design, you have to understand what it actually uh, is attempting to do. And responsive web design isn't, um, it's not really like a lot of things on the web where it's some new kind of feature that, that you, you are attempting to implement. It's actually the solution to a problem. And that's really the first big point to get is that responsive web design is born out of solving what has become uh, an increasingly difficult problem for web designers. I think this gives you a good idea of exactly what the problem is. What you're looking at here is a number of different resolutions that a device that your web browser or your website could be viewed by. So you can see that we have all the way down um, to 640 by 480 all the way up to 1920 by 1200 and it gives you percentages of what screen sizes tend to be viewed um, at, at what rate and so you can kind of get a get a feel for that but uh, what this shows you is that there's all different kinds of screen sizes that could be viewing your website and if you're designing to just one then it can be very difficult uh, your, your site can end up looking uh, pretty terrible if it's not built responsively in a different screen size not only do you have the problem then of these mobile devices and all these different screen resolutions, but you also have the growing market of large screens like TVs and so on. And so you're getting your website viewed on uh, devices that uh, are also much larger and you have the high resolutions of the retina display of the iPads and those devices. So the, the, the problem here. Um, is that the variation between what uh, screen resolution will be viewing your website is significant. It's not necessarily that um, it's small or that it's large. It's that you have a lot of people who are viewing it on a large size and you have a lot of people viewing it on a small size and you have to be able to design for, for both. Your website should respond to its environment. It should respond to um, what it's being viewed on so what device and primarily what screen resolution is viewing it it should respond to that to do to, to show the optimal display for that particular device responsive web design then to break it down you know all the conceptual talk to break it down to the nuts and bolts of what it is is is, is it's one this it's an approach to web design so it's in a way it's letting go of these hard rigid um, layouts based on pixel widths so that doesn't mean that you're not still gonna think about pixel widths but it's it's letting go of the rigidity that's been that that has so long been a part of web design from there there's really two other things one is a set of methods or approaches that you take to how you build your site responsive and then the actual individual skills that you need to to learn in order to make your site responsive